Okay, so my last two videos showed you how software-wise to set up a email server backup server uh, and uh, do it pretty much at no cost because uh, you could just use a computer that's lying around. Once again, this is minimal, minimal system resources. I mean, there are companies out there that will try to sell you like rack servers, uh, which is just ridiculous for doing something like this. All you need is enough storage and a minimal, minimal computer um, with network capabilities. Um, so I am going to make a recommendation. This is just a recommendation. I have not, don't have too much hands-on experience with this hardware, uh, but it is a incredible idea. It's been around for a while and could save you lots and lots of money when it comes to servers because lots of times companies try to sell you servers that cost thousands and thousands of dollars and, and no small business needs a computer a server that costs more than a couple hundred dollars. I don't care what they're telling you unless you're doing some sort of graphic design and you need some uh, rendering farms, but just storage, file storage, backups, I, I mean any computer will do uh, for the most part and I'm going to suggest here something called the Shiva plug and this is the Shiva plug. The Shiva plug is currently about a hundred dollars it's ninety nine dollars brand new and that is a whole computer server right there in the size of a wall plug it's got a USB connection here that you could hook up an external hard drive to I believe on the side here is an SD card slot a mini USB for programming and flashing and a uh, network plug right there uh, and this thing is a full server runs an ARM processor uh, you can run Debian Linux on it, or Ubuntu Linux, uh, NetBSD, uh, basically most you know open source operating systems as long as they have ARM based. Uh, it has 1.2 gigahertz processor, which is faster than my netbook, which only has 900 megahertz. So this thing's faster than my netbook. Pardon my phone. It <laughs> it's uh, faster than my netbook. Uh, processor wise it has a half a gig of RAM and a half a gig of flash storage and once again a gigabit Ethernet plug and a USB 2 port on it you can see it plugged into a wall right here takes up virtually no space and uses virtually no electricity I want to say uh, yeah it runs on uh, on uh, like f something like 5 watts here it's like 100 to 240 volts um, but basically the when you if you were to buy like a rack server the amount of money you would spend on electricity on running that thing and keeping it cool uh, you will save more money than the hundred dollars you will spend on buying this uh, uh, Shiva plug and you can easily install uh, like I said Debian Linux get the scripts up and running that we set up in my previous tutorials and then just stick in a SD card or a USB hard drive. USB hard drive probably be uh, more reliable because SD cards can go bad. Um, but there you have a full server that can fit in your pocket that just fits under a desk, it's out of the way, uses minimal electricity and only cost a hundred dollars brand new. Um, I mean the only thing negative that I can think of of running a server like this is the fact that it's really easy for somebody to steal. I mean someone could just walk in, unplug it from the wall and stick it in their pocket. It's not like walking out with a big old server. But other than that, I mean it's a great little device. I've talked to people who have had a lot of experience with it and they love it and uh, it's just perfect for something like we were just doing backing up emails. Uh, not a lot of internal storage but it has the SD card slot and a USB uh, port so you can hook up a uh, you know 2.5 hard drive through USB 2.5 inch hard drive and and it would power off it you wouldn't even need an extra power supply for the hard drive uh, and and you're off and going you're ready to go and and I just I just don't understand people I guess the people are just impressed by large servers that they think 
you know, if you're Google and you have thousands or hundreds of thousands of people connecting to your server, yeah, get yourself a big old rack server. But if you have a company with just a few hundred people and the server is going to be doing something minimal like backing up files or backing up uh, emails, especially backing up emails, it's like no power whatsoever. Uh, this thing is would just be great. Um, so I hope you found my tutorials on email backups uh, useful. Once again, I know I went kind of fast uh, and I tried to explain things best I can, but for a system administrator uh, with a little bit of Unix experience should have been able to follow what I was doing pretty basically and there's plenty of tutorials out, out there on uh, get mail and once again I would mentioned in one of the previous tutorials that uh, a more advanced user would probably prefer something like fetch mail which I, I don't have too much experience with myself uh, I think it's a little more complicated to set up probably just a little bit more not a whole lot more but gives you a whole lot more control and options but for just downloading and backing up s files through a pop account uh, the get mail program seemed to work great uh, and I showed you where to download it from but once again if you have uh, Ubuntu I haven't checked Debian but Ubuntu if you have the uh, community uh, uh, supported servers checked in your software sources uh, it is in there so visit filmsbychris.com learn more about open source tools both hardware and software that can save you lots of money time and headaches uh, and I just appreciate all my viewers. I hope you all keep watching, and I hope you have a great day. Filmsbychris.com.